Automobile A is traveling east at the constant speed of 36 km per hour. As Automobile A crosses the intersection shown, Automobile B starts from rest 35 meters north of the intersection, which is from this point, and moves south with a constant acceleration of 1.2 meters per second square. So VB naught is equal to zero, and it is 35 meters above the intersection with an acceleration of 1.2 meters per second square. Determine the position, velocity, and acceleration of B relative to A, five seconds after A crosses the intersection. So clearly we will be using here constant acceleration equations because all values here are constant. And the problem is asking for position, R B relative to A, velocity, V B relative to A, and acceleration, A B relative to A, after five seconds. So we need all variables for A, all variables for B, and then we just subtract them from each other. And let's start with this diagram so we can understand what is happening. So this is the position vector of A, the position vector for B, and this is where B is starting from, 35 meters. So our B initial will be 35 meters. And it is starting from rest with 1.2 meters per second square. Now for the horizontal car, it has a zero acceleration. So AA is equal to zero. And it has a constant speed, which is 36 kilometers per hour. And if we divide this by 3.6, we get 10 meters per second. So for car A, we will be using the second equation with a equals to zero, so this becomes S equals S naught plus V naught T, or in our terms, R A equals R A naught plus V A times T. And this leads to 50 meters after five seconds. So after five seconds, A will be 50 meters to the positive right direction. And as for car B, we have its acceleration, which is minus 1.2 meters per second square and we're taking this as a minus because we are assuming that r a or the position vector is positive up so a b is down which is minus and since we have the acceleration and we have the initial velocity which is from rest we can use the first equation and the second equation to find the velocity and the position after five seconds. So using the velocity equation, the first one, VB is equal to VB naught plus AB times T. And this is assuming positive up. So we get zero from rest, minus 1.2 multiplied by five, which is the time, and this gives us minus 6 meters per second, or 6 meters per second in the downward direction. And as for the position, Rb is equal to Rb0 plus Vb0 t plus 1 half Ab t square. Again, this is positive up. So, assuming the origin is at the intersection, Rb0 will be 35 meters in the positive direction. VB naught will be, as we said, equal to zero. And this is plus one half times minus 1.2 as for the acceleration, or we can put this outside as done here, times T square or five square. And this gives us 20 meters. And this means that car B is now 20 meters from the origin, which is the intersection. 
And now that we have all the variables after five seconds, we can start with RB relative to A, which is going to be RB, which is 20 meters in the positive J, minus RA, which is 50 meters in the I direction. And this leads to our magnitude and direction. And note that the direction is tan inverse y over x. As per this triangle, negative i with a positive j, and this becomes our angle. And for vb relative to a, we have the velocity of b in the negative j direction minus the velocity of a, which is in the positive i direction and if we take the magnitude and the direction becomes negative i with negative j which leads to this angle and finally for the acceleration of b relative to a since we don't have an acceleration of a it's equal to zero then a b relative to a will be equals to a b which is minus 1.2 j which is 1.2 meters per second square in the downward direction.